Hello and welcome to my short introduction video series for ECO. In this video, I will give you a quick info dump about storage and how to use it and a couple of small tips and tricks. And uh, yeah, let's get right in and start by explaining how crafting stations interact with storage. Let's take this bridge restable here. Every crafting station will that uses some kind of storage or needs some kind of storage will have the storage tab. Great surprise, right? Now, to enable the usage of any of these stockpiles, you can just click the little check mark and enable or just take it out to disable the usage of this specific stockpile for this specific crafting station. So if you have several of them and want them to pull all from just one stockpile and output into different ones, you can manage it that way. Now output, it will the crafting stations will always output in the top most enabled stockpile. In this case, it's the storage chest. To move them around, you just have to find the, the place where you get the hand, click and drag. And now this storage chest is on top. And now this is back on top. Where the lack of storage management comes into play, storage uh, will always, or no, output will always go in the topmost container. There's no filtering and there's no pausing when the stockpile is full. So this butchery table would craft meat and in this case fur pelts and there's leather hides and whatnot from butchering, everything will go into this storage chest. Once it's full, it will start filling the next one and the next one and the next one. So to mitigate this problem, you either have a overflow stockpile somewhere. That's not always possible. Uh, the butchery table can access storage chests. So you can, in if push comes to shove, dig a basement underneath and hide the boxes there. That's quite possible. And just have a have a stair, spare box sitting around. Or access the storage piles uh, in regular intervals and well clean up the mess by hand. Now for easier management you have the option to, as you can see here, finished food, you can rename the boxes. To do so, you have to click on the, just open the, the storage box you want to rename, click on a little pencil up here, and then you, it's just text box where you can just start typing. Hit enter to put it in. And now this specific stockpile will always show as finished food box. Well, to everything that can see this. Now, there are some tricks when it comes to moving items in storage devices. As you... <laughs> Hello, goat, or whatever you are. As you can see down there is a small stockpile with some dirt in it. I have a stockpile up here, uh, another small one. Now, when I access this stockpile that's in between, I can see other stockpiles that are in range. The larger the stockpile, the more range you get. And you can access all the other stockpiles here. Now, we can use this to our, to our advantage. 
say we want to move all the dirt that's in that stockpile down there into the stockpile behind me. You can just click and drag a stack, and now there's two dirts in dirt blocks in this stockpile. To move lots of things, you can move several blocks at once by just um, left shift and drag, and then it will remove all the blocks of the same item you have clicked. In this case, there's only dirt. And it will just move the dirt around as you need. And that works for all stockpiles, given they can actually take the, the item. For example, dirt wouldn't go into the storage chests. They are not, dirt is not allowed in those. But this way you can chain several stockpiles together and move large quantities of, of items over quite some distance in relatively short time. For example, down from a mine up to the service. Yeah, that just about concludes the this tutorial. I say the tutorial, this little explanation video. If you got any questions, um, just drop them down in the comments and I will see to answer them, although I can't guarantee to answer them. I'm not an expert, really. It's just what I have learned over time in two playthroughs. Right, nothing more to say, but... I wish you all a continued good time zone and see you all on the other side. Have a good one and bye bye.